Lee, Manchin, McConnell, Moran, Paul, Purdue, Portman. Rick. We are going to pause for a moment now to let our Fox stations join us. Scott, Shelby. Sullivan. Welcome to our Fox News live coverage of the Senate vote to confirm Brett Kavanaugh for the Supreme Court. I'm Chris Wallace. And I'm Shannon Bream. We are here in Washington. You're going to listen live as they're talking through the votes now, the roll call as you listen to hear the tallies, what at this moment appear to be a confirmation for Kavanaugh. Senators voting in the negative. Baldwin, Bennett, Blumenthal, Booker, Brown, Cantwell, Cardin, Casey, Coons, Cortez Masto, Donnelly, Duckworth, Durbin, Beinstein, Gillibrand, Harris, Hassan, Heinrich, Heitkamp, Hirono, Jones, Kane, King, Klobuchar, Leahy, Markey, McCaskill, Menendez, Merkley, Murray, Nelson, Peters, Reed, Sanders, Schatz, Schumer, Shaheen, Smith, Stabenow, Tester, Udall, Van Hollen, Warner, Warren, White House, Wyden. Mr. Murphy? Mr. Murphy, no. What's going on right now is that uh, they are waiting for senators who missed the first roll call, and there were a few who did, to come to the floor and to vote, and then they'll have the final tally, which is going to show that the Senate has voted to confirm Judge Kavanaugh. And just moments ago, people saw Senator Lisa Murkowski, a Republican who's voting no, step up to say she's essentially pairing her vote. It's something they can do in the Senate where someone has to be away. We've talked about GOP Senator uh, Steve Daines is away at his daughter's wedding today in Montana. They have an agreement where she's voting no, he's voting yes. They pair their votes since they offset each other. Essentially, she pulls back her vote and votes present, in essence, and that would get us to 50, 48, and 1. It's good to see that somebody has the right sense of priority, Shannon, and said, and he apparently flatly said, Steve Daines, I don't care if it's a Senate confirmation vote, I am walking my daughter down the aisle. It sparked a lot of conversations yeah. uh, in families. What would you do in that moment? Now, he did have a backup plan in that uh, a congressman from Montana, Giaforte, had said, I will allow you to use my private plane if necessary, if you needed to get there. So there was always a backup plan for him to be here if needed. And he said he didn't want the judge to ever think he was wavering. They had a private phone call and he said to him I'll be there if you need me uh, but because of this agreement they've worked out today it looks like he can enjoy the wedding Early in the uh, roll call, before we came on to uh, the, the national Fox network, uh, there was quite a lot of disruption. In fact, very unusual amount of disruption in the Senate gallery. There are 121 public seats there, and anyone after they pass through security can, sob, uh, can come and sit in the gallery. And in fact, they're strictly admonished. We, you're not allowed to show I either any support or any disagreement with any decision or any statement that's made. You're, there to sit and watch the senators do what they did. But when they began the roll call, uh, it, it sounded mostly like female voices sh shouting very much in opposition 
to the Kavanaugh nomination, and particularly when Jeff Flake, who was considered one of the key swing votes, was uh, voting and voting for Kavanaugh, you could hear one of the female protesters up in the Senate gallery uh, shout and call Flake a, how, uh, a, uh, a coward, and she was escorted out. We're told of those 121 seats left. Uh, in the Here we go. Waiting for some stragglers, and I can tell you these senators. Harper, no. Waiting for stragglers, and as I say, these senators very much want to get on planes and fly home. It is a holiday weekend, and they want to go back to their states, but they're waiting for this vote to be completed. So they're whoever it is that hasn't of approval or disapproval are not permitted in the Senate gallery. Are there any senators in the chamber who wish to vote or change a vote? If not, on this vote, the ayes are 50, the nays are 48. The nomination of Brett M. Kavanaugh of Maryland to be an associate justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is confirmed. Mr. Majority Trump, Leader. I ask consent the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table and the President be immediately notified of the Senate's action. Without objection. I suggest the absence of a quorum. Sergeant at Arms will restore order in the gallery. The clerk will call the roll. And so after three long months, the nomination, which came on July 9th, and the confirmation, uh, which comes today, Brett Kavanaugh is officially confirmed to the Supreme Court and will take his seat on the court on Tuesday after the Columbus Day holiday. Please stay tuned to Fox News Channel and this Fox station for continuing coverage of this story. I'm Chris Wallace. And I'm Shannon Bream in Washington. This has been the Fox News Special Report. Panel here in Washington as we have just watched this moment in history.